Um, just a little bit about the company. It's roughly five years old. We've been building a new standard for devices to connect just by using sound. We wanted to create a piece of software that can live on each person's device, allow you to effectively communicate to devices nearby, and allow things like faster check-in, sharing of contacts, and even networking in places without network. So let's dive in. I'd like to welcome you all to what we call the Internet of Sound. If we are creating a way for data to transmit between devices using audio you can't hear, it opens up this entire opportunity for you to build experiences around sound that you can't hear. Um, this was a, a really cool video that I don't think it's going to play, uh, but it's, it's sound vibrating and, and doing different things. And the reality is that sound in the digital age is really in its infancy. Uh, the premise of using sound actually started with me being a little wacky and a little OCD, but the, reality, the reason why the remote control is called the clicker is because it actually clicked certain frequencies, each button, and there was corresponding microphones that then received, and then that allowed your television to turn on. That was the first wireless communication protocol. We all forgot about it and started building really, really advanced protocols back in the 80s and 90s based on radio waves, and we're back. We're bringing this new uh, technology to these devices. So before I, I go into some of the things that we are doing, this sucks. Um, think about it, right? Even your best event that you tell all your friends about, how awkward is it standing in line, right? And even when you're a VIP and you walk up to the front, and that's awkward, right? Because you're like 50% sure, 50% not sure, you're texting Adam, like, what's going on, right? <laughs> that, that, so this is bad, but, you know, we live through it. But this is another thing that I'm mad about. We still ask people to print out their way to get into the event. Like, you can go to an AI and VR event sponsored by Samsung, and, and they tell you to print out, or they mail you an <laughs> envelope. Uh, <laughs> I just think that's stupid, and my OCD is like kind of mad about it, so I walk up, I'm like, this is dumb, I don't even want nothing. So, but, I mean, who has a printer at home? <laughs> exactly, well, good for you. Um, <laughs> no. I, I don't think you should have a, a printer at home. I think that there's a better way to, to do this. Um, and if you could do it a better way, what would it be? Like, I could know you as you approach the event, um, as you make your way around. Uh, you could see everybody you, you're near. Um, you can quickly share things, something like that. Maybe the experience should be I walk up and instead of I hand them something, it, they say, hello, Rodney. Oh, hi, Rodney. I'm actually going to bring that a little bit to a life right now. I didn't tell anyone that I was going to do a live demo. Um, but why not? That's how confident I am, right? So basically, I'm going to ask for someone to help me. That's right here. You? Oh, thank you. All I need you to do is type your name um, and click Send. And c can you confirm something, that that's in airplane mode? Yes. Great. Could you confirm that that's in airplane mode? Sure. Great. So that means there isn't any data transmission or way that this could connect to that device, because everything is off. Did you click send? Wi-Fi does. You can turn it off. Wi-Fi Yes. Great. And uh, just click send. Woo! Did you Thank you. Um, that's magic. No. Uh, what specifically happened is that her device created a high-frequency audio with her, I, her name, and it was quickly transferred to that device. So imagine every check-in, every ticket, every payment, the future of it is that you should just walk up and open up an email, or open up a website, or even open up an app, and that corresponding person should recognize you. That's the power of using sound to do things like this. Great, so let's keep diving in. Uh, what we've created very, very specifically is a data over audio solution, and we sell this software, and we integrate into companies like Splash, and experiences across teams, um, 
a lot of our customers historically were teams and like the Cleveland Cavaliers or the Colts, uh, Real Madrid, and we were doing great things like lighting up a light show um, with everyone's you know, phone. Where we saw additional power was becoming a utility in helping people just enter the event better, helping people acknowledge who's around them, and so on. Next slide. Uh, as, as a solution, just a, a top level, we're actually on a, on, on a pace to do over 30 million devices. So actually even this upcoming season, you're gonna see about 25 of the nation's biggest stadiums completely roll over to this solution. And it's, it's about data that someone else mentioned, and, but the, in the test that's currently being done today, 100% of attendees are being identified. Uh, that's, that's up from 30%. And then they're, they're, we're giving event planners and owners the ability to know who's actually in the venue in real time, and then understand uh, who's where in the venue. And we're not installing beacons and putting audition hardware. Um, we're leveraging each device, being a broadcaster and a receiver, creating a mesh network amongst each other, and then powering uh, this real time data transmission, tracking, uh, et cetera, based off of sound. So what specifically I'm explaining is two devices just broadcasting and receiving using sound. Um, the also magic behind it is that at most events, you don't have cell phone service or you know, data connectivity. I, I'm, I'm having a challenge in this wonderful venue today. Um, but that's because uh, you know, a lot of these experience sensors are, 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 are about the experience, but we forget that we still need our device to connect. Um, we don't have limitations based on any other connectivity. Um, we work, and we work really well. So I imagine a future where you go to your event, your splash event, and you should walk up, and instead of this bunch of papers and pens and buckets and all the things that we usually have, you should just walk up, and that person should know your name and acknowledge you. Um, number one, you've just personalized the experience at the most important moment. That it, it, the rest of the event has just been one. And then, as you have an, a great, fantastic time and you run out of cards, as we all do, or maybe you don't even want to give that person a card, I don't know, but imagine going back to an app and seeing uh, the people that you interacted with because it can also prioritize people who you spent time with, or basically who you were near, and sound can then understand that. So, uh, when you think of this journey, it talks about at entry, and it talks about being connected uh, at venue. I just want us all to wave goodbye to this, because <laughs> um, it still is so frustrating. And uh, I like to think that we're on a quiet pursuit to just connect more devices in more places than ever before. But I'm OK just starting with connecting you at the gate. <laughs> and let's do that better. Thank you. <laughs>